What's up guys, War here, and today we're going over the Wave of Light Monk. It might be the best build in the game for Season 27. Let's do it. Welcome to the video guys. Today we're going over the Wave of Light Monk. So far in the PTR, this seems to be the breakout build, the strongest build that's leading into Season 27. And it's mainly because of the new Angelic Crucible ability on here, which now summons bells at a target. And then you ignite them with a spirit spending ability like Cyclone Strike to deal a bunch of damage. So you do that and you just activate cyclone strike and deal a crap ton of damage so we're going to go into a gr uh we're going to blaze through this i'm going to show you how the build works and then we're going to look at all the gear that you need to assemble it uh things may change after the ptr or the update but this is what we have so far so how we play the build is pretty simple you got serenity and epiphany for defense and survivability uh epiphany also helps you um survive so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be casting serenity and epiphany non-stop every time they come up you're going to be casting Wave of Light at the target, and then you're going to be casting Cyclone Strike to ignite. Okay, Dashing Strike is going to help get you around the map. The build is very simple. You guys know LOD, so this is very similar. Nothing really changed for that, so let's hop right into it. Okay, this build is kind of weird in some sense, but you see we just activate it. You know, it's real good. You can speed it if you want. Um, I did forget to mention that we do have mystic ally era ally that's going to help us keep as much um what is it spirit up as possible it helps give us 100 uh spirit but as you can see like it just kind of it like traps them the only reason i say it's clunky is because you know it's you, you can't it's little it's just a little weird like walking through it but the build is really cool like you can just dash around i don't even have my my follower on here um, for just some added defense now the bells will stay behind until you cast new ones so until you do that like it's it's pretty it's pretty cool man with it implosion so every time you cast new ones they're they're gonna pop up which is really cool but i mean i think this build there's gonna be some different variations for like speed farming um you know, that's just one bell, and each bell that you cast is just going to deal even more damage. So, you know, I'm, I'm more of like an in a build speed farming guy, but this build just seems to be so strong for pushing the higher tiers. Like, it, it's just going to be incredible, I think. See how the bells just kind of stay behind? You know, it's not... It, it, it just makes it clunky sometimes for just moving around. But overall, the build is just insane. I mean, you see the power of this. And we're only on a GR75. I mean, I have, like, very basic gear. You guys see my low Paragon levels. I'm only at 635. And, I mean, ooh, we almost, we almost ate it right there. That would have been bad. So, I mean, this build is very easily attainable. You know, especially since it's LOD, we don't have to, like, have any special gear, you know, or not gear, but we don't have to have, like, a set piece to, to get this. All we really need is the uh, uh, Legacy of Dreams gem, which you'll, you'll get after you start doing GRs, as you guys know. See, and it's weird, too, because, like, when you dr drop the... When you drop the the bells, like sometimes it looks like like monsters are just not dead, and some are. Like that part's clunky, but otherwise the build is just it flows very, very nicely. It's just it's just way different than um, than like playing Innas or something like that. I know everybody loved Innas for you know forever now, and I ain't gonna lie, I did too. So I can't complain about that. Now, I'm not doing a really good job at all, guys, of, like, making this a speed farm in any case. But I just wanted to showcase the build so that way you guys can see it. Woo! Gotta love how uh, <laughs> levels just save you. And it's cool, too. You can really, um, like, group up enemies and just deal a lot of damage. Now, when it comes to... Ooh, I just died on the, on the poison. Way to end the video. Um... Stupid poison. You guys can see, like, dealing, dealing, dropping a bunch of these on the uh, Rift Guardian, very easy. 
very easy. We're not going to level up anything. We only, besides the gem that we get from the PTR guys, the other two are at level 25. It's not really a, a case. So, very simple build. Very easy, very easy to use. It is a little bit clunky for me at times, but otherwise the build's fine. Like, we did that. Not as fast as I would like, but we did it. Okay, so let's look at the gear, guys. We're just going to go over this real quick because things may change as we get the update to the PTR and into Season 27. Now, you need no set pieces. You're not going to use them. So going through them, you're just going to need uh, Tazu Grin's ga uh, Gaze because Wave of Light is now casted at your enemy, which is great. helps you teleport. Uh, Cyclone Strike increases damage with the, uh, what is that, Lefebreeze Soloquy. Okay, and then we got St. Archer's Gage. Every time we get hit by Elite Pack, um, we gain a big, huge shield for defense. Cinder Coat for reduce the fire cost of um, our abilities. We're doing everything in fire, which is great. Uh, Pinto's Pride for uh, additional slowing enemies and additional damage. Squirt's Necklace for double damage, guys. Witching Hour, solid, solid belt for just additional damage. Uh, Blackhorn's Jousting, this is great. You can swap this out for anything, but that's really good. Crudus Boots, definitely have these for the two Mystic Allies and increased damage. Uh, Convention of Elements, just for added damage there. And then Unity, just to kind of help with the uh, increased damage against Elites. Um, as far as our weapons, we're going with the Blade, the Kishi Kaishiro's Blade. Increase the damage of Wave of Light, and then it'll impact three times, which is awesome. Rabbit Strike, this is huge. Your Spirit Spenders will teleport you there, which is fantastic. And then, of course, you got to use the Crucible to get the uh, Wave of Light ability. Now, our gems, we're doing Enforcer because we do have pets here, so that's great. Of course, Legacy of Dreams, you can't build a, uh, play this build without it. And then Bane of the Trapped, solid. Okay, going into the cube, guys, we got Incense Torch for reducing the Spirit Cost of Wave of Light by 50 and increased damage. Bindings, every time we hit with Cyclone Strike, our allies do more damage. I'm not really sure why this would be good in here. Um, because I guess the Mystic Allies are going to do additional, you know, like, they're going to do the ability too, I guess, in a sense. But, I mean, maybe that will change. But we have that in there. And then, of course, Obsidian Ring of the Zodiac to help uh, keep our cooldowns. Uh, onto our skills, guys. Of course, Wave of Light. Explosive Light for Fire. Cyclone Strike and, Explo and Implosion for added range to pull everybody in. Blinding Speed for just dashing around. Get the dodge uh, percentage on there. Ascension for defense. You go invincible for four seconds. Epiphany, uh, damage reduction by 50%, and then it helps you teleport. Uh, Mystic Ally to help replenish Spirit. Onto our passives, we got Seize the Initiative for increased damage. Uh, Beacon of Yatar for cooldown reduction. The Guardian's Path for increased... Um, Spirit Generation, and then Unity for added defense. You can change uh, some of these out if you want. I like Unity just for more damage, but all that's really, really good. So that is the build, guys. LOD Wave of Light just looks absolutely insane right now. It's going to be strong. Uh, LOD Wave of Light seems to be like the best build going into the Season 27 and currently on the PTR. So this build is crazy. If you're a Monk main, you're going to love it. If you guys did enjoy today's video, please drop a like, guys. And if you're new here, please subscribe. We've been pumping out crazy content thank you guys so much for watching and all the support guys and as always stay gaming and i'll guys catch you guys in the next one peace